All right, all right, all right. It's Jared from Crypto Plan, and how is everybody going? All right, so I'm just going to have a little scroll through the watch list because I hope that everyone's feeling the same way that our portfolios are going well, and if we were accumulating at the right times, which is any time before a week ago, I reckon. Most things seem to be going up and the, everything's taken in turns. Um, you know, I used the popcorn analogy recently where it seemed like, you know, it was like the first few kernels in the bag of microwave popcorn were popping, but now it just seems like the whole bag is popping, right? Um, whether this is officially alt season, but I think it's definitely the beginning, um, depending on Bitcoin once again, if it takes this big correction, we might see some of the overextended tokens take some corrections, you know, maybe like the Cardano's and, you know, even VeChain might take a little dip or Graph or Theta. But um, in general, the portfolio is good. So what have I been doing? I've been, I guess, diversifying by taking some profits or doing some swaps, um, you know, so Theta kind of reached some targets. So I think I sold some of that or swapped some of that for some particular coins down into Hatha. Hatha's doing well. I just uh, actually um, swapped a little bit of Hatha, about 300 Australian dollars worth into game credits. And I've been doing that on a kind of a regular basis at the moment, but I guess I just want to have a look at this game credits chart here now and just see what we're looking at. Uh, I might just zoom into it a bit there and maybe, maybe we'll go on the weekly uh, just so that we get a bit more of a kind of clear view of what's going on. So I've got the, the, um, Game credits versus US dollar on a weekly chart now calculated by TradingView. Uh, the beautiful thing about this chart is that it hasn't popped yet. So it's one of the ones that hasn't popped yet. So I've been hunting and hunting and hunting and trying to find a coin. And I did this recently in my, you know, um, low market cap altcoins that uh, have some history uh, from the last bull run. Game credits was one of them and I never pulled the trigger on it. Um, I guess I didn't think about it clearly enough or look into it deeply enough, but the fact of the matter is that if it does what it did the last alt cycle or alt season, it will it will pop. It will uh, probably go about at least 90x from where it is right now. So that's a really, really good gain um, on investment considering we're about to be going into an alt season and you can see there that if we kind of zoom in that put those two pink lines there that's kind of a range that I see that it's been holding long term so this is kind of a buy zone so anything up to 10 US cents I'd still be buying and I believe I will buy some more I'm just waiting for Theta to hit some upper targets of around four dollars or just over four dollars to probably get out of half of my theta and then maybe smash it down into game credits or whatever whatever else I see as undervalued. And then, yeah, if it takes a dip down to half a cent there, which it possibly could, you know, or, you know, maybe even down, back down to five cents, it's kind of been ranging in between the five and seven cent range for the last few days, as you can see there, um, you know, zooming in on this particular zone there over the last week or two it's been ranging between four four cents and and now seven cents so i was looking at it when it was down at four cents and five cents and i never pulled the trigger and i wish i did um you know probably won't make a huge difference on the gains in the long term but once again another one of those kind of stabs at you know hey chuck a couple of hundred dollars on it just like i do with peer coin and see what happens at the end of this alt season and, and see what you can do with a couple of hundred quid and how you can turn it into a massive amount of gains. But game credits is definitely um, a buy in this zone uh, for me, anywhere between four cents and 10 cents uh, and looking, looking for it to kind of break that range uh, and then maybe up to 15 cents there would still be possibly 
you know, a top up zone depending on how things go. But what, after that, just just let the baby ride, um, because we have you know we've got price targets up there of you know five to six dollars for all time highs. But then if it does any of those Fibonacci extensions, twenty two to twenty five US dollars, um, which would be absolutely amazing. You know, so you think about. If, you, if you've got uh, a thousand of the, the tokens today, times by 25, that's 25K. So you can buy a thousand of the tokens for under 100 US dollars. And uh, if, if it does reach out to some extensions, then that's what it'll do. And I guess just for anyone that is into fundamentals uh, of what particular projects are about, game credits is uh, for gamers and it's, an in, it's used in game purchases and within apps. Um, it's and Ethereum, it's on the Ethereum network. Um, and it's been around a while, you know, and it seems to have, I was just watching some vlogs or, you know, some interviews with the CEO of Game Credits. Um, and he's kind of, you know, very passionate and he's definitely, um, definitely smart. You know, he's got a smart team around, you know, and they've been around, they've got a proven track record in their space. And I guess that means that when, the eye, you know, the focus goes on these particular coins that haven't popped yet, then, you know, they'll do just as well as all the other ones that have, you know, it's all about favor and all about the algorithms finding the best value in the market and traders kind of trading down from the hot coins down to these not so hot coins. And then eventually everything becomes hot because that's what an alt season is, right? So anyway, game credits, like I say, for me, not financial advice, but uh, I've got a buy zone of between five and 10 cents and um, I hope this helps people out. I am all about trying to find value at the moment. Um, I definitely would not be chasing anything uh, that has already pumped uh, right now because there's just not, not as much gains there. I mean, I know there's confidence in something that's pumped that everyone's buying it, but you know, I think the things that are pumped are probably gonna retrace a lot harder, whereas something like game credits right now, I can't, I can't see it going much much below five cents there, which yes, it's a 50% retracement from where I, you know, maybe a 25% retracement from where I bought it now, but it would just be an accumulation for me that I'd load, load the bag a little bit more. Um, so yeah, game credits is the one. And you know, another thing is I like, um, I like to see and what I've kind of noticed, uh, if I zoom in again, is that when you start to see these kind of two or three days in a row with these kind of doji candles, um, you know, and building its way up. If you look back to all the charts of coins that have pumped recently, you do see that kind of two or three small percentage gain days, and then you see a big massive day, right? You know, you see the big, the big pop day, um, you know, or two or three days. So they kind of, they accumulate in a range, you know, and for this coin, it's, we know, we know where that range is there, the five to, cent, mm -hmm. to 10 cent range. And then, bang! They burst out of there and they break through all those zones. Which is, that's that's what the that's what the market does, right? It kind of has a little tug of war, and then bang! The the bulls win and they take over. So anyway, that's game credits. That is where we're at, and uh, let's go out with a bang and like and subscribe that video. I do love the support on the channel.